we are testing now the link function in the 150 series Land Cruiser with the IBS system installed together with the relay booster module. Here we see the starter battery and over there the auxiliary battery. This is the battery we are going to put in as starter battery. Shows now 10.4 volts. The discharge battery is now installed. This battery shows now 9.54 volts. We give it a check how it would start just from this battery. We try now to start the car. We check again. Battery system shows us a starter battery is very low. And now we try to start. So it is not possible to start anymore. What we do now, we are linking the batteries. What has happened now, we see now both batteries are equal and now we are starting with the help of the second battery. So the start was successful. Uh, in the installation we also had the relay booster module what allowed us to start the car from the auxiliary battery. We are now doing a second try. We are checking again. Start the battery is absolutely dead. Shows around uh, 10 volts. We link now again. So battery voltage is uh, equalizing. And you see here Batteries are manually linked, the red LED is on, and now we are starting. So the link function has helped again to get the car going with the help of the auxiliary battery. Here we see already that the alternator is charging with around 14 volts. Main and auxiliary batteries show full. So at the moment both batteries are getting full charge from the alternator. Here we have the third battery installed from the triple battery system in the IPS 150 series line cruiser. This is a 92 amp hour HM battery feeding the IPS 1600 watt inverter what we see here on the side. Here is the power socket what comes from the front from the DPR system under the bonnet. This is the plug here. This one we are plugging in here. Through this power line here. It is now charging here this second auxiliary battery. So we see here we have a charge voltage of around 13.5 volt plus. Here we have the installed modules in this line cruiser. This here is the battery monitor, what is controlling the starter battery here and the auxiliary battery on this side here. This is the IBS 200 amp relay, what handles up to 500 amp peak hour what links the two batteries together for parallel charging and for 
link charge with the help of the auxiliary battery. On the side here we see the relay booster module what is um, additional system what can be installed with the IBS dual battery system. It is basically mainly installed beside the IBS relay and it helps to perform a link start if the starter battery has completely failed means if the starter battery is below 8.5 volts without relay booster module uh, it would not be possible to do a link start if the starter battery fails completely a second system what is installed in this car is the IBS DBR this is installed in this car to feed the auxiliary battery the yellow battery what is installed at the back of the car in this case that we have enough battery capacity for the IBS 1600 watt sign inverter